Batteries are disposable, but your $1,000 iPhone is not, which is why today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the battery in your iPhone XS Max. For safety, be sure to drain your battery below 25%. For this repair, you're going to need a P2 Penelope screwdriver, a Tri-Point Y000 driver, a spudger, tweezers, an eye opener, isopropyl alcohol, a suction handle, and opening picks. We also recommend using a magnetic mat for this repair. It'll keep your screws organized and safe from rolling away. Start by removing the two Penelope screws at the bottom of the phone near the charging port. Then heat your eye opener up and lay it across the iPhone at the bottom. Grab your suction handle and press it on the area you just heated. Lift up on the suction handle and insert your pick and work it around the phone. Try not to insert the pick too far because you could damage cables. Once you've released all the adhesive, lift the display to the right slowly. You still have cables connected to the logic board. To disconnect the battery, you must first remove the top bracket. Unscrew four tri-wing screws and then remove the bracket. Disconnect the cable that leads to the battery first, and then remove the three screws and the smaller bracket below the battery connector. Disconnect the display cables and be careful with the sensor assembly cable as it's slightly adhered. With the cables disconnected, the display is now free. Remove the three screws on the Taptic engine, but be careful with the ground on the left side. You don't want to lose this piece because you'll need it when you reassemble your phone. Grab your tweezers and remove the plate covering the connector. Make sure the plate is flat and push towards the battery to release it. Once the plate is off, go ahead and disconnect the cable under it. Right below that connector is a standoff screw. Remove that next. There's a bracket near the lightning port being held down by five screws. Once those screws are out, you can lift and remove the bracket. To the right of the speaker, remove one standoff screw and one Phillips screw. Use a spudger to lift up the speaker on the right side. While lifting, carefully deroute the cable you disconnected near the Taptic engine. Use some tweezers to unstick all four of the adhesive tabs. Once that's done, grab some isopropyl alcohol and squirt a little bit of it into the phone under the battery. Wait a minute for the adhesive to soften and the tab should come out with ease. Use your tweezers to grab the tabs and roll the adhesive out. Once you've removed all the adhesive strips, the battery should be free. To reassemble your phone, you'll need to apply some brand new adhesive to both your battery and the display. Thankfully, we have videos on how to do both. Once you have your new battery set in place, go ahead and insert your speaker and the Taptic engine. There's a cable under the Taptic engine that you need to reconnect. Go ahead and connect the cable on the speaker and screw the speaker back on. Next, screw the brackets back in place. Be sure to place the ground on the Taptic engine correctly before screwing it down.
Next, grab your display and connect the display connectors. Make sure you connect the battery last. Everything all connected? Go ahead and screw back on all the plates and close up your phone. As you close up your phone, make sure not to pinch any cables. And don't forget to screw back in your pentalobe screws. That's all for this repair. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to check out all of our awesome teardown and repair videos. See you next time.